Universal Transaction Tax. Could we pay only half a percent of tax and still have well-funded public services? What if we were to simplify our tax system by applying a universal transaction tax to every single bank transaction and scrap all other forms of tax? According to the Bank of England, the daily average value of real-time gross settlements in the UK is £764 billion per day. If we taxed all transactions at 0.5%, half from the sending account and half from the receiver, we would raise £3.82 billion in taxes every single day. In one year, we would raise £1.394 trillion. In 21-22, UK government spending was £1.1 trillion. So a universal transaction tax would give the Treasury a surplus of £286 billion. As well as the surplus, there would be several other advantages. A massive reduction in bureaucracy, no more income tax, national insurance, corporation tax, VAT or inheritance tax, no more reporting to revenue and customs. No money would leave or enter the country without being taxed, taking away the tax advantage of shell companies, tax avoidance schemes and offshore bank accounts. On a global level, it would ensure a fair division of taxes between countries where money is paid and countries where it is received. It would be a tax which would be applied equally to everyone and would still provide for the most disadvantaged in society. Those moving the most money would pay the most tax. A tax which most people will barely even notice they're paying. This approach was first proposed in 1989 by Dr Edgar Fage. He called it the Automated Payment Transaction Tax. As the fifth richest country in the world, there is more than enough cash flowing through the UK economy to let the rich get rich, provide excellent public services and support the poorest in society. Thank mm -hmm. you.